Vielleicht weiß ja der Polizist, ob der die Nummer irgendwie reverse engineeren kann. Officer Palmer? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. What can I do for you? Do you know anyone named Michael? <laughs> um, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. Does this phone number mean anything to you? Not really, but I can trace it for you. Trace it? Run the number, see who it belongs to. Within reason, anyway. Where'd you find it? I found it on George Austin's phone. Oh, we ran that number already. You did? Yeah. It belonged to Grace Church. Probably calling for donations or something. Yeah, or something. Hmm. Thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Do you know if any of George Austin's neighbors died recently? It's not in any of the reports. Do you have a name? No, not yet. But she lived across from George. Can't you look it up that way? I can't, no. The way the system works, I can only look it up by the victim's name, not address. Sorry. Hey, I mean, it's a very, very co cooperative here. Yeah. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Gut, dann zu Grace Church. Hi, remember me? Yes, and would you please keep your voice down? I... Sorry. Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work, I know more than I can count. I checked with the police. This number belongs to a phone in this church. A man I'm looking for made a phone call from this number. His name is Michael. It's very important that I find him. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. Ah, uh, stell dich dumm. So there's this woman that might have died in a penthouse apartment. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called Grace Groups. And they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. Ja, ich möchte bitte in deinen Keller. The telephone that uses this number, where is it? Why would you need to know that? Michael used the phone. Maybe he left a clue behind when he did. And he could have used any one of a dozen offices in our administration wing. Really? Over a dozen? Yes. So, if you want to locate Michael Cooper, you'll have to find another Echt way. Jetzt? Uh, dumm? Wait, Cooper? Pardon? You said Michael Cooper. Isn't that the gentleman you're looking for? No, I just said his name was Michael. So you did. Slip of the tongue. My apologies. It is quite late and I'm tired. You need to tell me who Michael Cooper is. I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. Alter. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. Ah, <sighs> uh, So. Äh, hier an dieser Stelle werde ich kurz unterbrechen, um mir neue leckere Kohlen zu machen. Mit der Musik gehe ich kurz in die Pause. Jo, sind wir alle wieder da? Man weiß es nicht. Aber ich kann euch äh, auf jeden Fall schon mal sagen, zum Thema Kohlencam. Frühestens Mittwoch, glaube ich mal. Dienstag bekomme ich voraussichtlich das Verlängerungskabel geliefert, was ich brauche. Und dann kann ich, äh, ja, ich sag mal, Machbarkeitsstudien für mich dann aufstellen und gucken, ne? Wie der Zug rüberkommt und so weiter. An dieser Stelle nochmal Danke an Motlekno, auch wenn er jetzt nicht zusieht. Ja, er hat mir nämlich die Kim mitgebracht oder vielmehr uns hier. Und ja, witzig. Ich 
Schön. Dann gehen wir jetzt erstmal wieder ins Spiel und äh, gucken mal nach dem Michael Cooper. So. Schön. Gehen wir zur Polizeistation und fragen mal nach Michael Cooper. Officer Palmer? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. What can I do for you? Do you have a record of a Michael Cooper in your system? Let's check. Sorry, it's too common a name. You'll have to give me specifics. Mist. Ja, zu einfach sein können, ne? Well, I better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Geld dafür, dass wir hier dann Unterstützung geben bei den Fällen. This is the phone number that Michael called George from. Mm hmm. Yeah, so far. If the phone is nearby, it's not ringing. Ah, so, that's. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the tip, Rosangela. Da wäre ich jetzt noch nicht drauf gekommen, dass wir das eventuell auch mal probieren können. If the phone is nearby, it's not ringing. Ja, ja, so auch nicht. Warte. So, was kann ich denn jetzt eigentlich mit meinen neu gewonnenen Informationen anfangen? Ach ja, Kraftfeil, da habe ich noch gar nicht reingeguckt jetzt. Ähm, weg. Was? Ich dachte. Police, case notes on house arrest. Ja, uh. No, I don't see any connection at all. Ja. Hmm, I can't see any connection. I don't think those are connected in any way. Ja, warum habe ich die denn dann jetzt? Und warum kann ich da nicht näher hinlesen? Gelöchert ist so eine Sache, ne? Excuse me. Yes. You need to tell me who Michael Cooper is. I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. That tactic ain't working, sweetheart. You need to come at this some other way. Hm. Are you sure you don't know anybody named Michael who made a call from this church? Quite positive. So you don't know anyone named Michael Cooper? No, I don't. There are tons of case files listed here. I'm not going to ask about them one by one. So there's this woman that might have died in a penthouse apartment. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. Yeah. I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called Grace Groups. And they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. Genau. Also, weiter. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. Weiter nichts Neues, ja?
Joey, I'd like to talk to you. What is it? Michael Cooper. Who is Michael Cooper? I don't know. Is he in that box you're carrying? Box? You mean my phone? Sure, whatever. Ah, that's... Er hat auch den Polizisten schon gesagt, das sind so viele Michael Coopers. Huh, so Michael Cooper was a priest. Interesting. Was soll ich dazu jetzt sagen? Der Polizist erzählt mir, äh, es gibt so viele Michael Coopers, ich kann Ihnen da jetzt nichts sagen. Und hier der einzige Treffer anscheinend für Michael Cooper bei Google. Na, okay. Okay, okay. Gehen wir nochmal hin. Excuse me. Yes. Michael Cooper. He's a priest too, isn't he? So? So, it's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? I... <sighs> Listen, you have no idea how important this is. Michael is in danger, real serious danger. From who? I don't know, but you can't protect him. And you can? I don't know that either, but I'm gonna try. I made a promise. He came to me scared, begging me to protect him, to give him sanctuary. He was ranting. I should have turned him away, but we roomed together at the seminary. We were close friends once. What could I do? You can take me to him. He's raving. He's mad. He, he says he's in a battle for his very soul. Is this true? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> he's in the school. It's closed for the winter break, so it seemed like a good a place as any to hide him. Here's a key. The entrance is around the corner. Please. Do whatever you must. Just don't come back here. Don't worry. Mm. So, thrown out of a church. I suppose with our record, it was only a matter of time. The entrance to the school is around the block. Let's go. Joey is schon echt cool here in the Spiel auch. Um, was wollte ich noch sagen? Ja, eine Schule, die im Winter eigentlich verlassen ist, ist natürlich ein super Ort, sich zu verstecken. Nicht. Ähm. Wem fällt das nicht eventuell auf, dass dann da ein Fenster beleuchtet ist in der ganzen Schule? No need to pay attention to that. There aren't any cars out tonight. It's the front door. Pretty solid. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. This is He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I think and he's reciting the Psalm the of David. The of death, From the books I've read, it's I supposed to guard no against evil, evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. It's dark up there. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint Michael? me with oil. Michael Cooper. You! Stay back, bestower. I've got a gun. Just a second. I said stay back! I need to talk to you. Talk? Did talking help Leah or George or any of the others? Please, I'm here to help. Help? Oh, I wish that was true. How much help did you give George or Leah or the others? Others? How many of you are there? You don't even know that. You don't know a thing, do you? This wasn't the plan. Plan? Yes. Our brilliant plan we get the bestower to escort our souls to the next world protect us from this force that is after us 
Instead, you let us be destroyed. I'm going to stop it. You can trust me on this. Trust? We trusted you to save us. And look where we are. I'm sorry. Whatever is going on, it's new. I've never seen anything like it before. I see. And what about him? Huh? Your friend. The man behind you. He hasn't said a word since you walked in here. Uh, me? D do you mean me? Yes, you. Don't look so surprised. How else could I have known who you were? Now get out of here. You've been nothing but trouble ever since George went to look for you. Zweite Person, die Geister sehen kann. Also nach dem, meinem alten Heim meine ich jetzt. Fine. Shoot. Kill the one person who can help you. There is no need for any more killing, my host. That voice. It can't be. I told you to stay in the other room. Yes, my host, I know. But I had to intervene. These two know me, if I may. Fine, fine. Just make it quick. I'm losing concentration. Malone, Blackwell, what a pleasant surprise to see you both again. Yeah, surprise is the word. What the hell are you doing here? Is it not obvious? You freed me, Malone. Brought me back into this world. And as befits all of our kind, I had a host waiting for me. And so I have returned to my former duties. Look. As much as I am touched by this reunion, I need to focus. Perhaps we should all converse outside. Fine, outside. Just leave me in peace. Thank you, my host. Lass mich mal ein paar Minuten Ruhe. Sehr. Ja, das Zeitliche segnet, hä? You're a bestower too? What gave it away? The spirit guide who won't leave me alone? Look, maintaining this circle leaves me a bit. Cranky, sorry. If you can help, great. If not, well, I've made my peace with it. Just go talk to her. She's outside. I need to concentrate. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Ugh. And I will do What the hell was that? Protective circle. Keeps spirits from getting in. Shepherd. I should be good, want. doesn't it? Yeah, bully for you. down in green pastures. <laughs> he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Blackwell, Malone, it's been a long time since we've been able to converse. It's been almost six months since Joey freed you. How come we're only seeing you now? I admit the transition hasn't been pleasant. I have had three hosts since returning to this world. The first was an old man on the edge of death. He lingered for six weeks before finally succumbing to the inevitable. When the old man passed, I became bound to his niece for a time. She ran every time she saw me. I tried to keep my distance, give her time to adjust. But in the end, she fell down the stairs in an attempt to flee. The poor woman died, and I was passed to her brother. The man inside. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Do you know what's going on? Why are these souls being attacked? I do not know. I wish I did. Like you, we saw it happen. We saw a soul being torn apart and could do nothing. I'm afraid my host became a little unreasonable after that. <laughs> unreasonable? Hello? Wenn die ganze Existenz einfach mal auseinandergerissen wird, das ist ziemlich scheiße, glaube ich. Why was George looking for me? We needed a bestower. A proper bestower. My host and I were not up to the task. Eh? It might be due to my time in the void. It might be because my host's soul has been marked by whatever is out there. But in any case, our abilities are limited. We cannot even help lost souls move on as you do. We can see them and talk to them, but that is all. Hence why we needed you. Lucky us. So what can we do? We don't even know what's going on. <sighs> Our theory was that you could help move these poor souls into the next world before they were destroyed. But it appears that it did not achieve the desired result. You could say that, yeah. You must investigate. 
My host and I are restricted, but you two are not. If anyone can help uncover why these poor spirits are being attacked and stop it, it is you. You should really call me Rosangela. Forgive me. When you are as old as I am, all the names blur together. So I tend to address those I speak to by their family name. It is just easier that way, and less painful. I'm afraid it is a habit that is difficult to break. So how'd you like being on the outside, as it were? I imagine it's better than being trapped wherever you were. I had thought, I had hoped, that I would pass on. That being brought back to the mortal world would force me to obey mortal laws. Instead, I... No. It is not to be. I have returned to my former duties, therefore I must have further work to do. But yes, it is nicer than being trapped in the void. Did I ever thank you, Malone? Not as such, no. Well, I must rectify that. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Macht mir keine Sorgen, das hat das, äh... Ja, wird schon irgendwie. Und wenn ich länger irgendwo grübel, dann hast du genug Zeit zu schreiben. Do you know anything about this Grace group? I know that it meant a great deal to my host, as well as his friends. Whatever happened at those meetings, it greatly improved their lives. But obviously, it came at a cost. So you don't know anything about this Grace group? I'm afraid not. You know as much as I. There's a ghost haunting the empty apartment across from George Austin. I see. Well, you know your duty. Go and save it. What can you tell me about Father Michael? Cooper is my host. We have not had the time to get to know each other better. Is he always this ornery? Do have some pity for him. He has lost his uncle, his sister, and several of his friends. He has been forced to accept the spirit world and the possible loss of his own soul, all within the span of a few weeks. If anyone deserves some understanding, it is he. There's a ghost haunting- I see. Is there anything else you can tell us about Michael? Sadly, no. We have not had the time to get to know each other better. Do you know a place called the Karth House? I'm afraid I do not. Tja, jetzt habe ich mit dir gesprochen, aber hat mich nicht wirklich weitergebracht. Oh. Why do you let Father Michael push you around like that? It is what my host wishes. So? Simply that. I must do what my host commands. Ah, right. Seriously. What's the story? No story, Malone. If my host wishes me to leave him alone, I leave him alone. That actually works? Of course. It is my duty to do so. So, Joey, could... No! <sighs> of course, some of us take our duties more seriously than others. Ich mag Joey. <lacht> okay, das war erstmal alles. Well, I suppose we'll talk to you soon. Of course. Bei 60p sollte theoretisch auch reichen für den Stream, aber. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Father Michael. Hallo Ulrike. Ja. Danke fürs Follow. Hat der Mutlek mir alles gegeben da im Stream. I can't believe there's another medium in New York. Medium? Sorry, I mean bestower. I've been calling myself medium for so long I sometimes forget. Uh huh. I mean it's not like I have anyone to talk to about this stuff. Nobody living anyway. Hey, look, I'd love to swap ghost stories with you, but it takes all my concentration to maintain the circle. Right. Sorry. Maybe we'll have coffee later? You know, after we save your soul and everything. Sure, sounds great. <laughs> Rosangela, sehr taktvoll. What is this circle? Oh, this. Madeline taught me how to do it. It prevents anything spiritual from getting to me. It takes some concentration to maintain, so I'm sorry if I seem a bit inhospitable. How did you learn what was happening? You mean that our souls were being taken? Yeah. I... it was a few weeks ago. I was at the bedside of a friend. Jeffrey, his name was. He went to the Grace Group meetings back in the day. Like me. He had been in a car accident. 
hit and run. He was dying, and he wanted me there. And when he died, I saw it. His spirit being torn apart. He screamed. I will never forget that scream. I know. I saw it too. Anyway, with Madeline's help, I began looking into other members of the group and learned it was happening to all of us. You know the rest. So you're working with Madeline? Working? I guess you could call it that. I've been too busy being scared to give it any serious thought. So why'd you send Madeline outside? Her presence disturbs my concentration, so she's keeping as far away as she can until this is resolved. What about us? You're the ones who are going to save my hide. For you? make the extra effort to focus. Oh, man. Could you tell you me about the Grace Group? It was some kind of self-help group? <sighs> about 20 years ago, I was a very different person. I suppose you could call me an alcoholic, although I wouldn't have said it at the time. Then I saw an ad in the newspaper. It promised to help folks like me find their way. It seemed to be some kind of hippie self-help group, but I went to a meeting anyway. I don't remember much about the meetings, but somehow I had discovered that going to seminary school was something I had to do. It all made sense. Made sense? I just knew it was what I was meant to be doing, and I was right. Is there anything else you could tell us about the Grace Group? No. You know everything I do. Did you know that there's a ghost across the roof from George's apartment? Really? Do you know anything about it? Sadly, no. I'm sorry. What about yourself? Is there anything we should know? Look, you're not exactly catching me at my best here. I can't do anything. I'm not a true bestower like you are. Madeline says she's been weakened, or I've been weakened, or something. She doesn't know. Believe me, if I could do what you can do, I'd be out there trying to stop this. But I can't, so all I can do is hide. Anything else you can tell me about yourself? No, I just... I just want this to be over, one way or the other. There are tons of case files listed here. I'm not going to ask about them one by one. Ja, es hat mich jetzt auch nicht wirklich weitergebracht hier. Oh, ah, okay. What happened at these meetings? That's just it. I don't remember. Until recently, I never questioned it before. How messed up is that? I'd go, I'd sit down and leave. I'd meet with the other members for coffee afterward. What on earth did we talk about? We must have found something. But I do remember a man, Benjiro. He ran the meetings. Benjiro? Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. How many people went to these meetings? There were six of us. You already know about Leah and George and myself. The others are dead. Who were they? Does it matter? They are dead. Their souls were taken. Even still, tell me. <sighs> Jeffrey Dutta, Heather Goffstein, Peter Fielding. Okay. Uh. So the man who ran the Grace Group meetings was named Benjiro. Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. I think ja irgendwie that's... Um die Seelen der, der Leute aus den Grace Groups jeweils dann immer der Kirche von Grace dann irgendwie dann da zum Opfer gebracht werden oder sowas. So the man who ran the Gra yeah, Jeff Could you tell me about Jeffrey? God, Jeffrey Dutta. Talk about transfiguration. When he walked into that Grace Group meeting, I thought he was in the wrong place. I mean, the guy was a Wall Street broker for crying out loud. He could have bought the church and everything in it. But he later confessed that he tried to kill himself. Twice. So what happened to him? He became a professional dog walker. Can you believe it? He used to pocket millions a year plus bonuses. Then he was picking up dog crap for $25 an hour and smiling about it. He was hit by a car crossing the street. A hit and run. I was at his bedside when he died. Madeline had been around for about a month at that point. So I saw his spirit rise from his body. I thought I was supposed to help him. But instead, I... You know what happened next. Ja, bedauerlicher Einzelfall mit diesem Unfall hier. Und der nächste hatte bestimmt auch einen bedauerlichen Einzelfallunfall. Could you tell me about Peter? Peter Fielding, yes. 
I never had much contact with him. He died several months ago. I'm afraid it's too late for him. You saw his soul being taken? Well, no. He died before Madeline came into my life, so I can't say for sure. But he went to Grace Group meetings, and he's dead. What other conclusion can I reach? So you don't know for sure if Peter Fielding's soul was taken? Not as such, no. But what else can I assume? Wäre wahrscheinlich sinnvoll hier zu fragen, wo er denn gestorben ist, damit man dann nochmal nachgucken könnte, ob seine Seele umfliegt. So you don't know for sure if Peter Fielding's soul was taken? Not as such, no. But what else can I assume? Tschüss Ulrike, mach's gut. Tell me about Heather Goffstein. You said she was a member of your group. Yes, she was one of us. I asked George if he knew where she was. He told me she was dead. I'm afraid it's too late for her. Is this like Peter? Did you actually see her soul being taken? No, I didn't. Thank heaven I didn't. Seeing it happen once is more than I can take. So you don't know for sure if Heather Goffstein's soul was taken? Not as such, no. But what else can I assume? How exactly did Peter Fielding die? Why? Are you going to try and find his spirit? There is no spirit. It's gone. You said it yourself. You don't know for sure. <sighs> it was some kind of accident. I'm not sure of the details. I read about his death in the obituaries. Too late for his funeral, sadly, but I said a prayer for him. Can you tell me again how Peter Fielding died? I told <laughs> you before. There's no point. Just humor me. <sighs> it was some kind of accident. I'm not sure of the details. I read about his death in the obituaries. Too late for his funeral, sadly, but I said a prayer for him. Ja, bedauerlicher Einzelfall. How did Heather Goffstein die? I'm afraid I don't know. George was the one who kept in touch with her. He told me she died, but he didn't tell me how or when. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, dann googeln wir jetzt mal. All right, Michael. We're going to go. Of course. Godspeed to the both of you. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me.